out the window, reaching for a north star, waiting just to wake up from this nightmare where you could be right back in my arms. I need psychological support. Hi, welcome. Uh, my name is Emily. Thank you so much for coming. I'm stressed. So if you are subscribed to the channel, you know that last week I put out a too many whips video because I have too many whips. I'm working on too many projects. And so today, naturally, I'm starting a new project. <laughs> but when you're inspired, you're inspired. You gotta go with this. So I have been seeing these tops with safety pin clasps um, all over the internet. And I decided that I wanted to make a similar top. And so I impulsively bought jumbo safety pins in gold, or brushed bronze rather, stylish. Um, and I decided to make this top. And because I already have too many projects and it is criminal that I'm starting another one, I decided to balance out that bad energy by, you know, giving some good energy and shopping a small business, which is something I've been wanting to try. Typically, I go to Michael's, but um, on the Upper West Side of Manhattan, there is this cute little place called Nitty City, and I had never been there, and it was an absolute, absolute, absolute pleasure. It is so cute. They have so many fun yarns. They wind them for you, which was spectacular, and they had this cute little punch card, so if you make like 10 purchases, you get 20% off, I believe. We love that. And I am really happy that I was able to support a local business. If I were wealthy, I would support local business more often. So I've got a beautiful brown. And let me, okay, let me describe the vision for the top. So the inspo is obviously these like, usually they're tank top, knit, whatever, um, held together by safety pins. So my vision, is I'm gonna do a paneled top, okay? And it'll be held together similarly by the safety pins. So I'm gonna make one back panel, two front panels, and the panel, the one panel will have to be shorter and increasing on every row. And then the other panel will have to be longer and decreasing every row to give it that like cut in the middle diagonally which is what I'm aiming for. And then long sleeve. So like pretty simple. I'm gonna do like a half double crochet moment. And I picked up this brown and originally I was gonna do like a bright green. And I was in the store and I'm literally holding the bright green dressed head to toe in black. And I'm like, you will never wear this. You will make it and you will never wear it. So instead I went with a brown and it is so pretty. What I like about it is that it's not just one tone of brown, it is mixed with like a really dark brown and it has like depth and dimension to it. It is a, and I'm gonna pronounce this wrong, it's a Barocco Vintage DK machine washable blend in the color chocolate. And it's nice and I wanted something with a halo and this does have like a very light halo but it's still DK, it's not like um, 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 mohair. It's not like thin like mohair. I wanted this to be a quick snappy intro and now I'm just gonna, I'm gonna start making it. Um, the recommended size hook is a four millimeter. I'm just gonna use my five. Yeah, I'm just gonna use my five millimeter and I'm gonna start by doing, I think the, the long panel. Or should I start with the back panel? That's boring. I'm going to start with the front panel, the longer one. Staring out the window, reaching for a north star, waiting just to wake up from this nightmare where you could be right back in my heart. Okay, so I just chained 46, which is going to sit from like here a little more than half. And I'm gonna go back with one row of half double crochet. And then I think I will 
on my way back again, I'm going to start decreasing until I get to here. And so I'm just going to do decreasing rows every single row after my foundation row. And that should work. So that's it. That's all I'm doing. We'll fi we're figuring this out. Stuck here in the middle. You tell me that it's simple, but I could paint a thousand different pictures of what is wrong. Okay. Don't I laugh at my outfit? It's a Saturday. I can wear whatever I want. I'm not going anywhere. Okay. This is half of the front panel. I'm like halfway done, I think. I think I'm gonna make it the exact length of the tank top that I'm wearing today. So, it would sit like this, maybe over a little more, because of the seam, yeah, like that. So I'm just gonna keep going. I have like a few more rows and then probably, well like at the shoulder. But should I just let it keep going or should I stop here and have like a straight, that way you can really see like the break? Yeah, okay. Glad we talked this out. That's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna go like a few more rows until like here, like right at the top of my chest and then just do straight, straight up to the shoulder. But, that is how it's coming along. Pretty quickly, might I add. And the yarn is so nice. It's like really soft. It has a nice feel. Okay, all right, just wanted to update you. This is what we got so far. Cute. It's working up so fast, guys. It's been like two minutes since that last clip. Um, having the time of my life. I kind of like that it has like the meshy vibe because I am using a size bigger hook than was recommended. It's like a little more holier. But what I'm imagining when I wear it is like one of like a nice bra so that it's almost intentional that you can see the bra. Does that make sense? I'll show you what I mean. I'll do a total fit at the end, whatever. The other panel will obviously meet it. And then I put a stitch marker here because I'm just gonna do a couple block rows, no increases, no decreases, until where the seam will be. And then at the end, I'll do like one row of single crochet all the way around to connect and round out this bit here. I can also like decrease into this stitch and it'll also round it out. Maybe I'll do that. Okay, panel one complete. Okay. If I'm being honest, I'm a little scared about panel two because for some reason I feel like it's gonna increase too fast or I'm not gonna get the sizing right, but there's only one way to find out, which is to start. So I'm gonna start, okay? Okay, so I'm just increasing on every single row and it is going great. It's, she's looking beautiful. This is our new panel. And that's it guys, I'm just gonna keep going. I'm literally just increasing at the end only. And it seems to be going at the same rate as my decreases, which is good. Stunning.
Okay, so I finished the two panels and they look amazing if I may say so myself. And again, this side, wait, I started with this side. To, no, I started with this side. I don't remember which one I did first, but this one, I don't know what that is, um, is 45 stitches across and then I decreased in every single row until 25 stitches. And then going in, I decreased between the 17th and 18th stitch to get just a slight natural looking curve. And then I did like, I don't know, eight rows or something like that of non-increasing, non-decreasing, just half double crochet back and forth rows until the shoulder seam. And that's one panel. And then this one, because I ended on 25 here, I started with 25 stitches here, and then I increased every single row until I got to 45 stitches. And then same thing, decreased, wow, my camera won't focus. Okay, between the 17th and 18th, and like the same amount, eight rows of just half double crochets. And that is how they look. I also did start the back panel. It was too dark to film. And also the back panel is just going to be a rectangle. I added the 45 um, plus the 25. So it's 70 stitches across. And then I'm just going back and forth, back and forth until it is like the same length as these panels. So you can see I have quite a ways to go until the shoulders. Um, but I'm just going back and forth and I'm just gonna do one big block. Sometimes I add little shoulders um, in the back, but I'm not gonna do that this time because I think I want a little more support just from the back. I just think that's the look I want to. So this is what we're working with. Everything's looking great. And then this, is what it will look like connected. I think these go so well with the brown. They don't look brand new. They like have that older look, which I kind of like. Adds some interest. Noise, noise. So the goal today is to finish this back panel and hopefully start on some sleeves. Um, and they're doing construction outside. So while I listen to construction, you guys can enjoy some lo-fi beats. No, so I realized I can't have an entire video of just clips of me sitting on the bed crocheting because that is stupid. Um, so anyway, I'd like to take this time to thank everybody who is subscribing to the channel and liking and commenting because I'm just having a lot of fun and it's... Did I skip a stitch? No. Um, and all of those things make me really excited to make another video. And for the 85% of people who watch my videos that don't subscribe, YouTube tells me that. YouTube outs you guys and I don't like to bully, okay? I'm not a bully. But just like logically, if you're watching, you might as well subscribe. I'm just saying that. I'm just saying that that's all I'm saying. But anyway, thank you again to everybody who is subscribing. Um, I'm, yeah, like I said, I'm just having a lot of fun. We're almost to 200, maybe even by the time this video comes out. And I feel like we're growing very quickly, which just means more projects because it's one of those things. It's like, if I know people are watching, I just feel compelled to keep making. It's, what do they call that? Like a symbiotic relationship, symbolicist guys I'm literally dying uh, <laughs> I just googled what a symbiotic relationship is and wow yeah I was sure as heck off base with that one <laughs> Listen, I never claim to be Miriam Webster okay I am like two rows away from finishing the back panel back panels to me are like death because it's just back and forth, back and forth. 
and I get so bored. It's like precisely why I don't make scarves because I find them so boring. Um, no offense to scarf people. Some people just need to be doing something with their hands at all times. I get that. But I thought we would just chat while I finish up this back panel. And you know what I was thinking about? So obviously, well at least I don't think so, people don't like sit in silence and crochet, right? Like you're probably watching something or even like the knitting, like knitters, same thing. Um, so I was wondering, are there like streams where everybody puts the same show on and presses play at the same time and like they all work on their piece and like talk in the chat about what's going on? Is that a thing? If it's not a thing, should it be a thing? Yes, probably. Specifically crime docs is what I would be interested in. You know, like it's a YouTube stream, you're all watching the same crime doc, you're all working on your little project, it's like eight o'clock on a Thursday night, everybody is commenting on what's going on in the doc. That sounds like an absolute dream. That sounds like a lot of fun. If one already exists, let me know where so I can show up. If one does not exist, maybe I'm onto the best idea of all time. Okay, well I have like four more rows to do. I'm running out of yarn and I only have one ball left after this for the sleeves, which makes me a little nervy, but that's okay. I think we'll make it, hopefully. I bought three to be safe, so if I really don't have enough after three, I'm gonna be upset. But anyway, let me wrap this up. It's already three o'clock. It's 3.30, yikes. So I'm gonna finish the panel and maybe if I have time, sew the top corners on and sew up the seam and show you guys how I plan that. And then I guess tomorrow I'll do the sleeves. And I think I have the plan for what I want the sleeves to look like exactly, but I'll share those when we get there. moment it's looking like a funky little shrek vest um i seamed it up at the shoulders and you might be wondering has it been four days or how many times has she changed her shirt today the answer is many i don't know why i changed my shirt like five times today so skipping by that from here i just want to go and have this sit as much in the center of my shoulder as possible because that's where the seam should sit right and then imagining that like when everything is pulled in i keep doing this when i like no one wants to see that anyway so this is where like i pin 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 and then for the armpit i have a tendency to give myself too much room and then i always have a bigger sleeve than i want so I'm going to say like right here, like that feels good. Mm -hmm. And then all I'm going to do is take a stitch marker and awkwardly, there might be a better way to do this, but whatever. Okay, great. Put the two sides together and close it. And then I will take this off like so. And then just make sure the stitch marker actually makes sense. So it looks like it will, but I can usually tell better when it's laying down on the table. And then that would be where I start my sleeve. And then I will count the stitches up and just copy it the same exact side on the bottom. And this is where, see, you can kind of tell right here that it's not even. So I'll have to adjust it a little bit to make sure that it's even, but then this from here to the bottom is where I would do my seam. And then I will show you all that jazz and we'll do the sleeve.
I tucked in all my little bits and bobs. It's looking clean, she's looking beautiful. I do not have my crochet hook. It's somewhere, hold on, there she is. So if you have watched any of my patterns before, you'd know that I cheat on the sleeves um, because technically the right way to do a sleeve would be to, oh my God, somebody's texting me. Okay, anyway, um, would be to connect at the end of the row, uh, like chain one and turn your work. Let me mute that, hold on. But I don't do that for two reasons. One, it's never perfect. I always make a mistake somewhere. And two, I don't like the look of the seam. I would rather have a slightly uneven edge, which is like honestly so slight, like you can barely tell. I would rather have that than a seam. So you pick your battles, you know? Okay, anyway, moving on. So I literally just hook around like a foundation row of um, single crochet. I'll do a foundation row of single crochet going all the way around. And then from there, I just, I'll just do half double crochets until it's long enough. And that's it, that's how I do the sleeve, super easy. The only tiny little bit of advice that I could even argue to offer is to count how many stitches you put in your foundation row and write that down so that you do the exact same amount of stitches on the other side. Because otherwise, one of your sleeves, like even if it's just one stitch bigger, one of your sleeves will be slightly bigger and it'll bother you. Or it'll bother me at least, so just write it down. But other than that, like I'm literally just about to go in and just do circles, 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 circles of half double crochets after my single crochet foundation and then my like vision for the sleeves I think is to do an increase at the end just a little bit nothing dramatic so it has like a little bit of a flare sleeve but again nothing dramatic so I'll let you know how I end up doing that when I decide when I get there but other than that yeah that's all I'm doing for the sleeves and then we're basically done but the sleeves are gonna pull it all together because right now it's looking a little shrecky, okay? But when we have the sleeves, it won't look shrecky anymore. Nothing against Shrek, just not my style. Side of my house. And I have this inside and I looked at TC and he looked terrible this time. His face, he's just looked ugly. Jones. stop here because I am so afraid I don't have enough to do the other sleeve and I'll probably cry if that's the case but it's cute and then I decided not to do increases because it naturally has that like bell look that I wanted um, obviously because the top of my arm is a different length different width than the rest of my arm but anyway, I'm just going to keep stretching it and like force it to sit where I want. And then I also wanted to share that I'm actually, um, I added the sleeve inside out. So I have like, I inside out it and then made the sleeve because it made the seam more flat and it doesn't have that like puffy shoulder that I get with everything. So maybe that's just something I've been doing wrong. But this is where we are. So now I'm just gonna do the other sleeve and then we're done. Now it's you, you, my boy. I'm coping your mo. Coping New Zealand, my mic is cut this island, you do it. Depressed. 
compression and the sleeves are like way too short for me but the reality is I won't be able to go back and pick up some more for a while so just sucks to suck whatever we're gonna just stretch them out to let you know what it would look like <laughs> if I didn't run out of yarn I'm so surprised I can't believe I ran out of yarn whatever okay so Literally then the last thing to do is just to add the pins and they are huge. So I think like the further in I put it, like if I put it right at the end, it's like not gonna close the way that I want. And also it's gonna pull too much on the fabric I think. So I'm thinking but like I want it to line up. Don't look at that. Okay, yeah. Yes. Heck yeah. Right, and like you can literally place them however you want. I don't even know if I want three or if I want four. Alright, well, I'll probably lay it on the thing, but that's like literally it construction wise. So let me show you how I would actually style it, and then we'll just call it a day. Like, we're gonna have to call it a day. How do we feel? I don't know how I feel yet, because obviously I'm not gonna wear it with a tank top like this. I'll just, you'll see what I mean. Cut to that now. Okay, guys, so this is it. Um, I didn't really mean for it to be an off the shoulder moment, but I always underestimate how wide I want my shoulders to be. But actually for like the style of the top, I don't mind the off the shoulders and it does feel like purposeful. So we're gonna ride with it, we're gonna roll with it. The sleeves, again, I ideally, when the top is done, I want the sleeves to go like mid hand and be like, you know, like a pouty moment kind of. But other than that, I actually really like the top. I paired it with a bralette that I feel like confident in. It's it's one of those bralettes that almost could be a sports bra, but it's more, more feminine than like a sports bra is, if that makes any sense, I don't know. I can't think of the words to describe right now, but it's like a, I would feel cute even if I was just in a bralette. So that's what I paired it with. So it is like intentional that I like, I know you would see it. So like I wouldn't wear my granny bra that I wear on like a hangover Saturday with this. I would like incorporate it into the outfit. And then if you've ever been on this channel before, I always wear my leather pants, like almost always with crochet. I just feel like there's something about like the something about like a leather pant that's more structured paired with crochet makes it feel more like modern and stylish to me to each their own that's just how i feel so i always with a look like this usually go and grab my leather pants i'm not wearing any shoes because in these videos i realize when i film them inside you can like never see my shoes so I didn't even bother, but I would feel fine wearing this with like, you know, Converse or like a little booty or something like that. But other than that, I feel like cute in it. Like I would wear this out and feel cute. Like all night. Like sure, I'll have another Marg. Fun, flirty, fresh. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's how I would style it. If you have any questions, um, I know this wasn't really like a tutorial video. It was more like a follow the thought process um but it was pretty straightforward so if you have any questions just let me know below and i will see you next time